Hey, welcome back. We're here today with something exciting and new. I've got the new West Coast Honeycomb Handle Brushes here in the den. And as you can see, I've picked out the three different colors, two different style knots. Of course, you can mix and match and get either knot style in any of the three color handles. Uh, these are just to show you. And I've picked out the synthetic right there. And then you can see what the knot looks like when you open it up out of a container and what it looks like after probably about five shaves or so broken in. It's already started to open up a lot. Uh, and these are the same knots that are featured in our WCS Infinity brushes. Uh, the same 26 three band finest, and the same 26 synthetic fan knot as well. Uh, I have used these quite a bit. I've used this one probably about a dozen times already. Uh, I've, I've, <laughs> I just really like it. Uh, I, I like it. I know, I knew I would like it because uh, I got to help pick out the knots originally. Uh, the difference between these uh, knots in these handles versus in the infinity handles, for example, uh, are that these are set a little higher, and so you're going to get, um, you know, more loft and uh, it's not floppy, this style of knot, in my opinion, it's not floppy, but um, you are going to notice that uh, there is simply more brush uh, because more of it is above the handle. Uh, likewise with this, uh, I found that for, for me, uh, this was exactly the kind of budget knot that does not feel, in my opinion, like a budget knot. It's exactly what we were hoping to design, and we really are thrilled with how it came out. Again, same knot as in the Infinity brush, but the loft on this is set a little higher, and so you're just gonna have a bit more volume to work with if you like uh, a brush that um, is not as scrubby, but rather uh, you know, just has lots of, of fl flow through. Um, so I've used these, I've used them both. I found them to be excellent performers. Of course, as I said, the knots were not really a question. The loft is just a bit different this time in this particular handle, but the knots themselves have been great performers all along. The star of the show is the honeycomb pattern. This actually took quite a while to develop. Uh, we started work on this a long time ago, uh, and it's quite intricate to make this. I'm gonna try doing a close up here. I don't know how well it will show up, um, but the way it catches the light, you know, I really uh, am impressed with how they finally turned out. Uh, as I said, we were in suspense for quite a while, awaiting the final product. Um, these brushes uh, you know, have this kind of frame inside the resin, um, and it was it took a lot of fine tuning to get it to set up just right. Uh, and as I said, the wait, in my opinion, was worth it. Uh, these look great. Uh, I'm really happy with them. We hope you are too. Uh, they are unique. The knots are going to be, in my experience, excellent performers. Um, these badger knots, for most people, are going to be a great all-around option. Uh, there are more expensive, better knots out there in terms of the most luxurious end of the spectrum. But if you're looking for luxury at a great price, I really encourage you to check this out. Uh, that's what it was designed for, and I feel like it really uh, makes a compelling entry on that front. Otherwise, green, blue, white, you pick. I think they all look great. They all look a little different, and they're all fun to collect. Check it out. Thanks.